Hi. The next object that we're going to build is this tab object that was imported from Sketch. So the first thing to notice here is this is also a multi-state. Right? So we want to, because there's two different states, select or, select or not selected. So I'm going to make a multi-state grouping. And this becomes the component now. And I'm just going to say this is selected. And this is default. Cool. Now in the code sidebar, I have to specify maybe there's a checkbox selected in this dot props. So if I have to return the state name in this state expression, so this dot props that's selected. In that case, we'll do selected. Else, we we'll do default. Cool. So let's see if we can create an instance of a tab now. make this bigger and let's say that there's like a sidebar here or something like this this tab and by the way I can make all of these have resizable width if I want to it doesn't let me resize down here because I didn't specify anything flexible. So I can specify that this guy is flexible and this is also flexible. But I also need the, the parent to be flexible. The parent to be flexible. Otherwise, they override the children. Now you can actually resize. Great job. Cool. And if I hit checked, I get popular versus new. Awesome. I like some darker color. Cool. Popular versus new. And let's see in our React app. This, of course, doesn't have layout constraints set on it. So let's actually make this flexible left margin, flexible height. And there you go. Cool. Our sidebar. And let's have a couple of tabs here. New and selected. But now popular and new are not the only things that I might want there. I actually want to make these guys dynamic. I can also just hit D and, and, so, and click on the text. And on the code sidebar, it has the popular guy, should be just a prop stop, just text. And this one was assigned to text too, but I actually want the same text prop variable. So I'm gonna delete text too. We only take in, take in some text and that defines popular or new. So now in the instances, I go hello and world, and that should work. And now finally, we have to make these links actually work. In React, that's often done by using something like React Router. So in order to do React Router, you actually have to use a, uh, a functionality of PageDraw called external components. External components is, the way, uh, is, is one of the two ways to add um, external code into PageDraw. The first one is override code that we went over in a different video. This one is very useful for, for example, if you want to do a link from React Router, and you say that a link has a to prop of type string, then basically now you define this per doc for your entire project pretty much, but then you can use this anywhere that you want. So here, for example, if you want to add an external component to this new guy, or to this popular guy, both of them, you can add an external component, link, and there's a prop here, which is also gonna come from a dynamic variable. So I just marked that, that prop to be dynamic. Here, there's an external component, link, mark the prop to be dynamic. And let's go to the code cyber to actually wire, wire this up. So this is this.props.link, let's call this two. This is props two. And now let's say that there's a variable called to, which is of type string that has to come down. So now we can actually say, well, this text is hello and it links to slash hello. This text is world and it links to slash world. 